Amber? Amber! You look lost in thought. Huh? What are you daydreaming of? I was thinking of what Dad said the other day about managing my time well. He was right. You should have a good balance of time to study, play, sleep and rest every day. Too much of anything is bad. But how do I manage my time? You should make a list of activities that you do every day. Then, you'll be able to see if you're spending too much or too little time on anything. Mm. I have an idea. Let's think of the day like a cake. <laughs> a cake? Yes, a cake. That has been divided into 24 slices. Oh, I get it. There are 24 hours in a day. So, each slice of the cake is like one hour. Yes, but look, you study for one hour in the 24 hours of the day. Yes, you're right. So, you get one slice of the cake. But what will I do with the other 23 hours? <laughs> Let's think of the other 23 slices after you answer my question. Hmm. Can you mark more parts of the cake in the same way to show how you spend your time? Remember, each slice of the cake represents one hour of your day. Hmm. Yes, I sleep for 8 hours, play with my friends for 4 hours. For the next 4 hours, I am bathing, eating and doing other daily activities. I am at school for 6 hours and I study for 1 hour. Very good! Do you realize what we have here? We have made a circle graph. Huh? A circle graph? Yes. In circle graph, you show data as parts of a circle. They are a very useful method of organizing data. It is also known as a pie chart. Now, you can easily see how you use your time and know if you are managing it well. Wow! <laughs> Thanks, Mom! Hey! Where are you going? To get myself a real piece of cake at home. Yippee! <laughs> okay, Amber. Let's go. It's time to revise all that you've learned about circle graphs. In circle graphs, the data is shown as part of a circle. Using circle graphs is a good way of showing quantities as part of a whole. <laughs>